cheese, and I put in parentheses not fried, because egg fried cheese is supposed to be here, so I can abuse him about it. But he's not, so I'll just make fun of him in absentia. Um, making that, both of these are going to take a long time. The kielbasa will be able to form, will be able to taste, but the kielbasa really to do well needs to be hung and dried, <laughs> has to be hung and dried, uh, for two to three hours before cooking. So what we'll do is we'll just prepare a little bit and have it. Um, and then we'll make the Siddick up and that has to age. My grandmother used to do it for a little over a week. The recipe that we have here uh, says three hours. Um, that's not enough. You definitely need to let it go longer. Oh, do do do. 5 a.m. Wow, yeah, okay. I'm uh, gonna catch up on a few things here. We have, <laughs> we're on the air on time. I actually went ahead and put some robots on it. And I swear, this is a mess. <sighs> this is the towel that is covering our sauerkraut and our uh, kimchi. They have well and truly done their darndest Oh my, you're just dripping too. Yep. <laughs> Dogs will have fun with that. And this is our Siddick. This is our Siddick. This is our kimchi. Uh, this, I think, is done what it's going to do. Oop. Oh wow. I just pressed down and saw a whole bunch of CO2 come out of it. Uh oh. Mm. Don't do that. All right, stop playing. I'm going to stop playing. I'm gonna have it on the ceiling if you're not careful. See, when it uh, bulges out like that, that's when it's, the thing gets clogged. And it started to come from the side, so I had to open it to redo that. But I think these are gonna go in the fridge soon. We did those like 10 days ago. Was that the case? I've lost track. Have you? I have. <sighs> you're supposed to be I the know, organized no. one. I don't keep, no. It's your thing to keep track of. So, yeah, those have been going real well for us. Sauerkraut as well. This we'll be using later. Um, we're going to set it up. We're going to start with the kielbasa. And get to, and then when it starts to do its aging thing, we'll go ahead and do the Siddick and just have that done. And we'll have sausage stuffed. We'll have a little sample here. And we'll definitely try it out Wednesday, too. I think we'll make a dish with it. I was thinking of pierogies for Wednesday. Ooh, okay. Thursday. Yeah. Because yes. I'll be away Wednesday. Yes. <sighs> Thursday is when <laughs> our prep stream is. And we'll be doing the pierogies with kielbasa, which is one of those decadent dishes they have down at, is it Jimmy's? Yes, Jimmy's. So glad you could join us here today. The glad Tavern. You tavern tavern food um but yeah we're going to start getting ourselves into the easter thing uh we're also going to be doing wednesday pickled egg beets which is a thursday, thursday. <laughs> i hope i remember <laughs> to get well, on you'll the plane. be on an airplane that is true and, and i'll is... be at choir because that night switched yes also um and then I'll come from the church to the airport to get you. If I remember to get on the plane. Well, yeah. That's... I'll trust you to let me know if you don't make your flight. This is true. Um, and it also calls for smoked, uh, the, the kielbasa recipe uh, for smoking. Ooh. Okay, I have two questions for Silver. Uh, Silver, you said you're going to do a two-for-one special. Okay. And I don't know what that means. And second, he's suggest kimchi, kimchi stuffed pierogies I'm not sure if that would work because it, it's kind of soupy kind of uh, but you would you know take the drain the, it drain it um, sauerkraut is quite often used in pierogies so it would make sense that the kimchi would also work it'll be spicy mm -hmm. but while we're making the pierogies we, we can try it yeah put some yeah. kimchi in it yeah uh, yes, Garnet. The two things we're making today are kind of Easter special. Yeah, the, Easter traditions here. Yeah, the uh, it, it would sound odd, uh, the kielbasa. 
But when my grandmother would set up the dishes uh, for Easter, she would make her souse, which my mom loved, and we're not making here because no one would eat it. Um, it is basically pig gelatin with pieces of pig in it, pork. Um, I'm sure it's good. I just can't. There, there's very few things that I'll say no, yes. and that's one of the few. Yep. So we got a no it, on that it one. It smells. It smells bad. Yeah. Well, it's 